boondongle, we'll call it the boondongle of the 2016 MacBook Pro. In my last video I was talking about the jet drive and this is um, sort of like a, an external hard drive um, for, your, for your Mac. This one's the Jet Drive Lite 360, and what it what it does is it fits the 15-inch MacBook Pro Retina perfectly. It's made for this computer specifically. This one was uh, about $200 Canadian and increases my storage by 256 gigabytes. So um, I've got a 500 gigabyte SSD hard drive in my Mac, so that basically gives me a 50% boost. What I'm going to use this for on my soft working files of my videos on this so I can carry them around with me and I can work on them wherever I want. Now while I'm working on them, I am going to transfer the files from the card to the computer so it's a little bit faster because you know the up speed is um, is 95 and the down speed is 60 which is a lot slower than the, the SSD of the, of the Mac. You know this is a lot easier to carry around than a, a hard drive. Let me show you actually just how much easier it is to carry around. This is it. So this is this is my extended hard drive or my external hard drive or my flash hard drive. And all all you do is you just pop it in. Oh, wait a second. I need my dongle. Ah, oh, just joking. I don't need a dongle or a dingle or an adapter because I didn't buy the 2016 MacBook Pro because it isn't very good. It's fine. It's not great. It's not something that I would buy. If you want to buy it, go ahead. This just slips into the side of my uh, of my MacBook Pro and it's like I said it's made specifically for this this MacBook. So I just slap slap it in there. It's pretty easy to install. Okay, so there's immediately there's something that comes up and says, okay, I can't, the computer can't read this. And that's because I need to format the card first. So I'll go ahead and format it. And I'm gonna rename it videos. 256 gigabytes is more than I need from for the working files of my of my video. So I'll put all my raw files and my project files and all that sort of thing on those. And when I want to work on them, I'll just transfer them over to the computer and then work from them, work with them directly on the computer. Get some info on this and it says so 259.6 gigabytes, uh, 259.36 gigabytes available. So there's a little bit of junk on there, some artifacts or something. I'm going to be I'm going to be using it quite often. I like that it fits right into the flash drive. The 2016 MacBook Pro has a serious issue with its with its battery not being able to give the time that it said that it was going to that it was going to be giving you get 10 hours of battery life from a single charge of your MacBook Pro and you're not you're not getting that. Mac fixed it. They fixed it. It's great. Everyone should be happy now. You know how they fixed it? They took the indicator out from the taskbar telling you how much time you have remaining. So yeah, you can't even tell. You can tell how much charge is left but he can't tell you how much time is remaining. So that's that's actually really good. And I don't know if that has anything to do with that you know, nice new fancy touch bar that they've got on their computer. Just just give us a touch screen. Like just, just give people a touch screen. They want a touch screen, give them a touch screen. No, no, you don't need a touch screen, says Mac. You need a touch bar. Oh, and, and you don't need USB ports anymore. You don't need a, a flash drive port anymore. And you don't need Thunderbolt ports anymore. And you don't even need to make save a port anymore, adapter port anymore. We're gonna give you Four, if you're lucky, if you spend the right amount of money, like say $5,000 Canadian, we'll give you four USB-C 3 ports. Deal? No? Oh, mm. yeah, so that, that really sucks. They took away all those ports and left you with only four of those USB-C 3 ports. You can plug in all the freaking dongles you want and you can plug dongles into dongles and if you have another dongle that doesn't fit that dongle, you fit that dongle into that dongle into that, you know, the boon dongle, we'll call it the boon dongle of uh, the 2016 MacBook Pro. This dongle connects to the dongle and that dongle connects to the dongle. It, it, it gets, it's really annoying. In fact, I read today that standard USB to USB-C dongle is like always sold out. So if you buy a new MacBook Pro and it has the USB-C 3 only port, then you probably can't use any of your other accessories with it. It was pretty hilarious. And it sort of reminds me in 1985 when they released the Mac 2, it was $5,000 in 1985. That's probably about $10,000 today. It's USD. It was supposed to be like the latest and greatest. It sort of was for its time, but it made all these promises that it couldn't keep. It didn't work very well. To fix the problem, they said was, you know, raise the, the CPU off your desk by about two inches and drop it, and that might fix the problem. So if you're having a problem with your 2016 MacBook Pro, with try like lifting it up off your desk 
and dropping it. Maybe that'll solve. Don't do that. I mean, I'm sure these things are fine, but that would just be foolish. But if you are gonna do it while you're at it, put your cell phone in the microwave and charge it. In fact, my, my hard drive extender, I'm gonna be using this basically all the time. It might be a bit annoying to have to pull this out to put my flash drive in. It's still a lot easier to carry this around than my external hard drive. If you like the video, uh, let me know. Comment, share it, subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.